Hello, <clears throat> excuse me. Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Broly 555 TV, and welcome back to my NCAA Football 07 Dynasty mode, where I continue playing through the NCAA Football 07 Dynasty mode that me and my best friend, the Gravy Man, have been playing for about, ooh, we're going on 17 months now, actually. And we are starting season number six, which is the 2011 season. And it turns out, me and the Gravy Man are the only ones playing in week one. So the Gravy Man is coming off a season where he went 10-3, and three, won the Sports Champ Bowl, or the Champ Sports Bowl, and finished number 12 in the country. He is starting out this year ranked number 9, and he's looking to contend for an ACC and National Championship. And he has an easy opener with Ball State. I, on the other hand, am the defending national champions. Un well, I shouldn't say I'm undefeated, but I have won 13 in a row. After the Gravy Man beat me in the Natty the year before, I followed that up by going undefeated, winning the national title over Michigan again. And now I'm playing against Virginia Tech, a team that last year went 13-1 overall, won the ACC title, and they won the Orange Bowl over a previously undefeated Louisville team. And now Virginia Tech starts out ranked number two. They have maybe the best defense I'll see all year. And I am the most talented team in the country on both sides of the ball. Their defense and my defense is about the same talent-wise, but my offense is on a whole nother level. I lost... My Heisman wide receiver, Fuller, and that's it. Everyone else is coming back. I got new guys. Oh, it is going to be glorious. And, of course, it's the national game of the week. So, we're going to open up with this. Going with the yellow, baby. And what are we going to give them? Oh, they can stick with that. But, yeah, Virginia Tech is coming to Autzen, and we're going to give them the good old Pac-10 Autzen Stadium welcome. But yes, they have three linebackers who are a 96 overall or better. <laughs> but I'm pretty darn talented on offense and defense as well. Because Tony Haley's a 96 overall. And I think Lee Brown's a 95 overall. So I have two impact linebackers. They're as good as their guys are. So it'll be interesting. Along with my partners, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. It's a picture-perfect day as we get set for today's contest between the Virginia Tech Hokies and the Oregon Ducks. Oh, yeah. You've been waiting all summer, and it's finally here, folks. It's week one of the college football season. Ooh. And here come the Ducks. I'll tell you, this one can go either way. Kirk, what do you think will happen today? Oregon knows all too well about playmakers as they have one of their own at the running back position. This guy's got way too much talent to be contained. Lee, I think he'll lead them to a close victory. Oh, Kirk. There's a chance I might even agree with you on this one. I'm picking me. Ooh, they're both picking me. Well, this game just wouldn't be the same without you, Coach. Now let's go down. Can't really blame him, though. I'm the defending national champs, and I return everybody except for my star receiver. But all the guys I have coming back at receiver are great, so I don't really lose much. Uh, I want to start the ball in the second half, so we're going to play defense first. Plus, it's always good to set the tone on D to start the game if you can. Virginia Tech is an A-minus on offense, though, so they will not be easy to defend. Boom! Everything is awesome! Oliver fields it at the seventh. Oops, I did not mean to do that. We'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out out of the field for the first Whoops, time. Whoops, wrong direction. This drive will start the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. First and 10. Ace backfield, Montgomery. The ball carrier. Why am I? Why am I keep hitting line, that? Montgomery gets about a yard on the play. Second it's nine. second and nine. Ball, ball on their own 26-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Come on, guys. Oh. Really? It's caught off the tip. That is BS. Oh, my gosh. They got so lucky. 
I'll let you get the penalty though. I'm the coach. I put a big circle around that play so I can remember to call that one again. Good call. That's just so dumb. They're going to flag the celebration there. I called the right play and it's just a lucky bounce in their favor. Three wide outs here. And it's back to pass. Comes across the middle. Really? Wow. That's so dumb. Play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. I can't believe how open he was. Here's Ridiculous. The just a YouTube notification. And he adds the extra point. More than nine minutes left here in the first quarter. And the score, Virginia Tech, seven. Oregon, nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Kicks off. All right. Bell fields it in the end zone. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. All right, let's see what we can do running the ball. Down there on the field at linebacker, we've got one special player. He's the heart and soul of this defense, and they're going to need him today more than ever as they go up against a very talented... Jeez, got stuck. That's right, he's a tough one. There should be some really good collisions in this game. Actually, you know what? Let's give... Brian Brown to carry early in the game. Second, second and, 11. and 11. Ball on the 20-yard line. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Nickel defense. On the goose, on the goose. He drops back. He throws oh, this. Really? Come on. And that's the way you play defense. Rough and tough with no apologies. Jeez. Third from their own 20 yard line. It's third down. The Ducks line up with three wide. Brown drops to throw. Looking. Throws it to the opposite. There you go, Smith. Nice catch. This kid is now the top Boom. in school history. As far as yardage, he's been more successful than anyone. This guy can really let it go. And what an accomplishment for this young man. He now owns the school record for the most passing yards in a career. It could oh, happen. Well, looks like they're spreading the field on this one. Brown comes to the line with three wide. All right. This guy, ooh, I do not like this at all, Sam I am. I do not like my green eggs and ham. Brown on first down. Looking. He's taken off. There we go. First down, Sam Brown. Big gain for the quarterback. I'll tell you what, guys. This guy's pretty athletic. Just like you. All right. Here we go. I don't think this was a design play, but it worked like it was. And you're right. If I'm Come on, guys. You got to block for McDuffie. He really wants to get going, guys. All right. Here we go. There you go, McDuffie. Nice run. Eight yards on the play. Brown, adjust the play at the line. All right. There you go, Smith. First down and more. There you go. Do 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 do. Yeah, they've done a good job of building some momentum here, and more importantly, they've kept this defense. All right. Ooh. I do not like this at all. 
Yeah, I'll go the other way. Come on, guys. Block for McDuffie. He just wants to get you a first down. He just wants to do it, guys. Come on. You got to block for old McDuffster. Ah, He just couldn't hold that block. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. From the 25-yard line. Second and 11 coming up. All right, let's see. Tech I might up have it. All right. The running back has it. Knocked ah. down at the 23-yard line. Darn it. Brown comes away with two yards on the carry. So that'll make it third down. This defense faces another third down. Nickel defense. Brown options left. Oh, I I told him to pitch and he wouldn't do it. Well, this is how you defend the option. Yeah, the quarterback had nowhere to go. All right, let's see if I can nail this field goal. The quarterback made the right decision to keep the ball and take the ball. Wait, who is my kicker? Oh, okay, the guy I recruited. All right, let's see if he's got that kind of leg. It's up. And, and he got it. 7-3 Virginia Tech. Three points, Kirk. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. Yay! There you go. Well, the offense is back on the field again in their last drive. They Come on, defense. We got to get a stop here. Come on, Otson. Help them out. They line up in the shotgun. Montgomery takes a handoff. Pops the They'll bring him down at the 30. Montgomery gains around six yards on the run. Second it's four. second and four to go. Oh, on the 30 on the 30. Come on, guys. Montgomery is the single setback. Montgomery, the ball carrier. Boom! He got hit hard. Good hit Montgomery by Minucci. It's up about four yards on the play. So that'll make it third down. Third down, less than a yard. Come on, Otson, get loud. Virginia Tech lines up in a goal line set. He steps up, wants to throw outside. To the really? Line. Come on. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw in practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players execute in a game like they did all week in practice. Good job. Come on, defense. Ball on the 45-yard line. Virginia Tech comes out of the shotgun. It's a direct snap. There you go, Tony Haley. Nice stick. And it's the All-American who came away with the tackle. Yo, you can add this one to his scouting video. That's a great play. Come on, D. Virginia Tech comes to the line with three wide. He's looking to pass. He unloads it. He snags it. At the 31. Boy, does this kid have an arm or what? Are you kidding me? It looks like he has a rocket launcher attached to his shoulder. First, we've ten. got a first and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Come on, defense. They line up in an eye. Atkins. Oh, there we go. And that was out of reach for his tight end. Gotta keep bringing the heat. It's our only chance. Come on, D. Gives it up the gut. Jeez. At the 17. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully, like this is not a good start for my defense. I've had one of the elite D's in the country the last two years. Resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. There we go. 
Keep bringing the heat, boys. Come on. Second and 15. This is the ninth play of this drive. Virginia Tech goes with the ace set here. They hand it off again. There we go, Rodgers. Good tackle. Down at the 16. That's a nice six-yard gain. Third, so another third down upcoming for the offense. Virginia Tech comes out of the shotgun. Boom! Tony Haley with the sack. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right. Hold him to a field goal. That's a win in my book. False start. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Yeah, Austin Stadium, baby. Well, that will move them back five yards. Yep. It's not going to make life any easier on this offense. And the field goal team is out to try this 44-yarder. He gets it up. And he got it. 10 to 3 Virginia Tech. To check out the Pontiac drive summary. Uh, hopefully I can score a touchdown in my next Everyone drive. Lined up and ready for the kickoff. He hits a booming kick. Bell signals for a fair catch. Just fair about catch. ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Hmm, I don't like this Brown, one at all. Back in the gun. Go all right. Come on. Oh, really? Wow. Man, that run D is stout. McDuffie never had a chance because that guy didn't block him. From their own 18 yard line. In second down and 12 to go. Brown changes the play at the line. Hmm. Okay. Do 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 do. Surveys the field. And Sam Brown says Heisman Trophy time. Oh well, at least he got the first down. And it's plays just like that one that makes him such a nightmare for defense. Well, that's why he is so tough to defend. You've got everybody covered downfield, and he just takes off with all that speed. Hmm. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. All right, we might get Mr. Brian Brown on this one. Or we'll scramble for a first down of Sam Brown. Brown to the air on first down. That well, looks like we're getting a first down of Sam Brown. Brown. Runs out at the 41. That is exactly why this kid is so tough to defend. You bet he is. He's faster than some of the receivers. They line up at the 41. It's first down. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Brown steps back to pass. It's complete. Hold on to the ball, bro. And he just got drilled. Nice little catch there, huh, coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. I like short passes. They're safe and can lead to some really good yardage. Second and six. Hmm. Yeah, I like this at all. They line up in the shotgun. Especially with the speed they got. Ooh, we might get the Brian Brown one-on-one -on -one matchup we want. All right. Working our magic. Na 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 Brian Brown touchdown. There you go. Quarterback's career is going to go down.
down in college football history as one of the greatest of all time. Absolutely, Kirk. Yep. He has earned this record for the most passing touchdowns in a career. Yeah. What a play. They actually cover that as well as you possibly can, but we just too pro, baby. Too pro. We'll be tied with the extra point. Boom. There you go, buddy. Oregon to kick. Boom. He sends it off. Oliver fields it at the three. At the thirty. Jeez. Good solid return. Come on, guys. Come on, D. Let's get a stop. Montgomery is a deep back. Is a line up in the eye. High formation here. They'll throw on first down. Let's it fly. Fumble and defense has it. There we go. This guy stepped up and made a big play right here for the defense. Nice fumble recovery. There we go. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Looking. Yeah, that was never open, but this was first down. Sam Brown busting tackles. All right. Let's see if we can get Jacobs going. Oh, really? You couldn't go block that guy? You're so dumb. Jeez. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 42. Ooh, that might work. I'm going to run out the clock, though, instead. Go to the second quarter, tied at 10. And so we've reached the end of quarter number one, and we're all tied up. Second, Second and eight. eight. Ball on the 42-yard line. Hmm. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Brown steps back to pass. He's rolling right. Oh, no. Come on, Whitfield. Ah. Whitfield was the intended target on the play. That's okay, though. Third, third down. Brown with three wide receivers. Brown back to throw. Surveys the field. Throws it to the outside. Oh, Smith's wide open. <laughs> Touchdown. There you go. I thought for a second there I was throwing a pick, but then he just left Smith all alone. Nice touchdown. There you go. See if we can get the the derb attack going, the, the quack attack. Because once I get on a roll, it is on like Donkey Kong, and it's over for you. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Wee. Nash from his own end zone. Oh, nice hit by Lake. Nice did a nice job of staying in the lanes and playing their assignment. That was just excellent kickoff coverage. There we go. Come on, let's play some D. good shot. Jeez, this Atkins guy's mobile. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. 
They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Nice. Good job, Haley. They go with the draw, but it fools no one. You know it's a bad side. Maybe that was love. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's why sometimes you'll hear smarter quarterbacks yelling run during the play action and yell pass during the draw play. Going with the shotgun here. Atkins set to go to the air. Throws down the middle. Really? Come on, guys. Tackle this turd. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough Jeez. to go for a first down. First and ten. Ball in the 49. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Adkins looking to throw on first. Nice. This one is incomplete. He put just a little too much power behind that throw to his receiver. Oh, boy, guys. I think he'd like that pass back. Come on, Autzen. Why are you getting quiet now? We need your strength. They line up in an eye. Adkins with a nice play fake. Jeez. Boy, did he zip that ball in there. Yeah, you're right. There's not a whole lot of quarterbacks out there. Come on, D. He delivers this one right where it has to be. Great arm strength. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Setting up play action. He's going left. Jeez, we're just not covering anybody right now. When you bring a lot of pressure, you're going to leave yourself open out there, relying on your secondary and your linebackers. You're just hoping they can make plays. That time, the defense lost. The offense won. Virginia Tech sets up in the eye. Give to the tailback. Jeez. He followed his blocks and rammed his way into the end zone. He had a back need to give credit to that offense. Man, uh, my D's getting torched in the first half. Ooh. He makes the PAT. Better than eight minutes remaining here in the second quarter. And the score, Virginia Tech, 17. Oregon, 17. Perkins is lined up to kick this one off. Hmm. And it's off. Stiegel fields it at the three. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. And great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can hmm. they do it again? Brown lines up in the shotgun. Brown on the option left side. The lateral. Face mask. <laughs> yeah, it was eight yards in the play anyway. Let's tack 15 on there. That's pretty costly for this defense, isn't it, guys? Yeah, well, they're marching off 15 yards. And not only they put in better field position, but they get a first down as well. First, it's first down. Ball on the 42-yard line. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. Hmm. Come on, guys. Block for McDuffie. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Nice run by McDuffie. Seven-yard run by the running back. See if they'll give Brian Brown the edge. Down, three yards to go. Ooh, another nut. Oregon lines up with a shotgun set. All right, please block for Brian Brown too, guys. I mean, he's your other star running back. First down. Yeah, I'll take that. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. They line up at the 48. First down. The Ducks audible to something else. Hmm. Ooh. All right. Brown drops 
back. Throws. Tackles him for a loss on the play. A one-yard loss. Hmm. Second, Second down 11. at 11 yards. All Almost right. Ball on the 49. Ooh, yeah. Don't like that look at all. Up with three receivers. Well, let's give him a new one. We either scramble for a first down with Sam Brown or we'll hit Brian Brown for the touchdown. Drops back to pass. Looking. Or we'll just get what yards we can. Holy smokes, they close fast. Man. Third down, seven yards to go. Brown with three wide receivers. Big dog, big dog. Yep, blinking. Nice. Sam Brown doing his Heisman thing. Even though he hasn't officially won a Heisman, he should have last year. You can see the guys are hanging their heads a little bit going back to the huddle after giving up a big play to the quarterback. First and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Three wide outs here. Throws a screen. And it's the senior. There we go. Five, maybe six on that screen. Six yards on the play. It's second and four. Ball on the 25 yard. Okay. Come on. Please block for old McDuffie here, boys and girls. Jeez, they just could not generate a hole. So another third down up Kelly for the offense. Hmm. Brown comes to the line with three wide. Excuse me. We're gonna scramble for it or we'll hit Smith. See, I told him to run and he wouldn't do it. That is horse crap, man. I tried to tell him to run forward and he wouldn't do it. He just stood there like he's going to pass. Oregon could take the lead with this field goal. It's up. And it's 20 to 17, me. And he's got to be happy Boom. Decent kick. Nash fields it at the one. What to look for on this drive to see how often the defense changes up its coverage. They didn't defend the pass very well on that last drive. So it's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here. The Hokies come out in the ace formation. Throwing left. Intercepted by Marcellus. And it's in the end zone he goes. The there we go. Yeah, defense. Second turnover of the day. First defensive touchdown of the year. I think Marcellus is an 89 overall cornerback. So, yeah, that's my stud corner. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. Boom, 27-17 me. And with four minutes 
to go in the second quarter. Do 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 Jeez. Now we see the offense come out of the field. And you know who's all right, D, let's get it done again. Secondary. Secondary should be trembling after all the yards that they gave up that last time. Four wide receivers in the formation. He looks to throw on first down. Throws down the middle. Ooh. He just put a little too much air under that one. That's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz, not only to sack the quarterback, but also to Come on, D. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24. The Hokie line up with a single set back to you. Give to the tailback. Boom! Marks with the big hit. And he gets a yard on the run. are lining up with three receivers. Jenkins drops to throw, and they try to set up a screen. Boom. Really? Oh, my gosh. We should have stopped that play, and we couldn't. Now, that's what you have to do on third and long. Yep. He went right at him and hit him in the mouth. That's a great conversion to get the first down. Virginia Tech sets up in the eye. Setting up the play action. He throws it. Jeez. At the 40 yard line. A decent gain on the pass. Yo, Kirk. Good job by the quarterback here reading this play. Yeah, the defense came with a blitz, Jeez. and you're right. Great job by this young quarterback of recognizing first the coverage down. and spotting the open man. Come on, D. Ball on the 40 yard line. The Hokey. Go with the eye formation. Boom. Oops. There you go, Marks. And he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. The Hokies line up with a single set back to you. Jeez. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Come on, D. This defense faces another third down. They line up in the shotgun. Come on, D. Bring the heat. Tony Haley, another sack. Total drive disruptor right there. Tony Haley, look at that monster hit. Boom. His second sack of the game. It didn't look like it on that play. They line up to punt this one away. Smith, the return man. Great job by the D to make a stop there. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Signals for a fair catch. Calls for the fair catch. And they'll down it at the 10 yard line. Great punt there to pin them deep inside their own territory. Man, they got a nice bounce there as well. Yeah, a lot of times those punts will hop right into the end zone, but this time it didn't go anywhere. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. On the goose, on the goose. Cut. Brown looking to throw on first down. He keeps it. Oh, Sam Brown with the juke. What a run. Yeah. That's what makes this quarterback so special. Look at this juke says nope. Can't say enough about it. Well, with speed like that, even if he doesn't pan out as a quarterback, I think he'd be a great receiver at the next level. They line up at the 38. Oh yeah, that ain't gonna work. The ducks come out showing three wide. Drops back on first down. Surveys the field. He takes off. Yeah, okay, that one wasn't going to work. Come on. 
Stop getting stuck in the screens I don't want to be in. They line up at the 41. Ball on the second down and seven. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Cat 82. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Rolls to the right. Oh, Sam Brown. Sam Brown. Oh, that's a huge late hit out of bounds. Only the second quarter, and this quarterback has gone over 100 yards rushing. Well, we knew he was a dual threat quarterback. That was beautiful. And this defense just has no answer for him today. Let's see if he can keep this up. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. All rise. Brown drops back on first down. Here they come. Man. They get the sack. The Ducks call for a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Only one yard line. It's second down. These guys are really tough on D. I'm not going to lie. Brown, back to pass. Catches it. Alright. Uh, last, so second to last time out. Man, these guys are great on D. Third down. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Option left. Pitches back. There we go. McDuffie with the big run. <laughs> what a run by McDuffie. That was beautiful. Good night, sweetheart. That, that was almost good night, good morning, and good afternoon. The way that kid was running. Man. From the gun, Brown set to go to the air. He looks. He's taken off. There's a missed tackle. Ah, darn it. I think I have one timeout left, right? Yeah, I have one timeout left. From the three-yard line, second down and goal. They line up in the gun, looking to spread out this defense a bit. He's looking. And now he's Sam Brown with the touchdown. Did he do? And did he ever? That close to the goal line, I'd run the ball with my back. But that's me. Hey, old school. Didn't they just score on that play? Give them a break. There we go. They'll line up for the extra point. Breaking away a little bit. And I start with the ball in the second half, so as long as we don't give up a kickoff return here, we're in great shape. Boom. And he converts the extra point. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Oregon 34, Virginia Tech 17. Oregon ready to kick this one off. Do, 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 do. Boom. And this is just a booming kick. There we go. We got all the mo now. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers brought to you by Coach. Virginia Tech sets up in the eye. Boom, there we go. Halftime. I lead 34 17. But right now, they've got this thing under control. Our score, Oregon 34. Virginia Tech, 17. Well, they were giving me a tough time for a while there, but I'm starting to break away. Outgained them 319 to 280 in the first half in yards. Outran them 172 to 36. They outpassed me 244 to 147, but I'm running the ball well, so. And I forced two turnovers, including a pick six, and I haven't turned it over myself. I'm winning time of possession. Sam Brown is 9 of 11, 147, two scores, no picks, and has 14 carries for 117 in a score. McDuffie has 8 for 50 on the ground. Brian Brown is a 55-yard TD reception, 6 for 84 in a score from Brandon Smith, who is apparently in for a huge breakout year. And with that, let's get the ball rolling. Virginia Tech got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Decent kick. Bell has it at the five. At the thirty. At the forty. Oh, what a kick return, that though. Return should help the offense out a little. Yo, this kid is a sensational kick returner. He did a perfect job of reading his blocks on that kick return. Almost perfect. Hey, that's what I said. Almost perfect. 
They'll start this drive at midfield. Ooh, yeah, I'm not liking this at all. They line up in the shotgun. Come on, boys, block. Brown with the give. Ooh, four yards from McDuffie. Five yards. Oh, there you go. From the 46 yard line. Will they give him the edge? Yes. Let's see if McDuffie can get edge now. <laughs> All right. Here we go. They snap it to the back. Jeez, that guy just chased him down. With McDuffie. Gains around three yards on the run. So that'll make it third down. It's third down and two to go. All right, we are in good shape. No biggie. Oregon lines up with a shotgun set. There we go. All right, here we go. Brown will throw for it. Looking. No, 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 <laughs> no, Brian Brown. Wow, what a diving catch that was for a running back. He might be playing receiver in the NFL. Oh, man, Brian, Sam Brown got murdered as he threw. Didn't matter. What a dime. What a dime that was. They'll line it up for the extra point. Boom. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Oregon lines up for the kickoff. Oliver and Nash back deep to return. Boom. Oliver fields it in the end zone. There we go. Well, I've now scored 24 unanswered. Let's see if I can get a stop on D. Na 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 na, Brian Brown. Boom! Murders row by Tony Haley. Second and 13. Second and 13. Ball on the point. All right, guys, let's get another stop. Come on. Going with the shotgun here. Atkins drops back to pass. Boom. Good job, Minucci. Way to keep your assignment. One yard loss on the play. It's third down. 14 to go. Ball on the 19. The Hokies line up with four wideouts. He guns it. It's tip. Oh, Defense great goal. tip. Great job to get a finger on that pass and cause the incomplete. There we go. They come out in a punt formation. Perkin awaits the snap. Punts the ball away. Straight All right, fair catch. catch. There we go. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. The We've Oregon got a first and ten. Take over. Ball on the 41-yard line. First and ten. Nope. They come out in a nickel. Nice. There we go. Seven yards on the play. They line up at the 48. Second and three. No. The Hokies line up in a nickel back. Hmm. White 33. 
Alright. No biggie. Let's keep burning clock. Brown gets it on the inside. Nice run by Brian Brown. And he has a nice game there off what looked like the same play. Let me tell you something. That was the exact same play they just ran. And you know what? After that big game, I wouldn't bet against them running it for the third time. Here's the offensive production statistic, sponsored by Coca-Cola. Brown has four receivers lined up here. All right, we'll try this again with McDuffie. Whew. It goes straight to the back. Jeez, McDuffie is just too slow for these guys. The halfback picks up a yard. We've got second and nine here. All of the 39 yard line. Hmm. I have a speed option here. All right. All right, here we go. Brown running the option. He laterals the ball. There we go, McDuffie. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up and they get good yardage. Great play. Boy, I tell you, this is impressive to see this offense when they're clicking. It's first down. Keep grinding that clock. Grinding that clock. And you Brian guys better block for Brian Brown because if you don't, I'll. If you don't, I'll. Run the ball again. Run the ball again. They give to the tailback. Jeez. The All right, well, that's what I get. Wait, hold on. You know what? Let's try the screenplay of Jacobs. Get second down. Ball on the 22 yard line. I'm not liking that one at all. Brings in their nickel package. Drops back to pass. Looks. Under heavy pressure. That was the right thing to do because they all lined up where Jacobs was. Shotgun. All right. Brown, back to throw. He looks. Come on, Sam Brown. He's hit and got yeah, away. first down. What an outstanding third down conversion. Yeah, and he showed pretty good quickness there, picking up a nice game. Good quickness and very good decision making. Not a whole lot going on as far as throwing the ball there. He makes a wonderful decision, bringing it down and making a big play. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Brown drops back. Ah, bro. Down for a loss. Man. A yard there. Hmm. Here we go from the nine. nine yard line. The Ducks come out in the ace formation. Excuse me. McDuffie again. Oh, I just bounced the wrong way. I could have scored on that play. Take this one in for six. We're going to risk it for a biscuit. They'll go with a run once again. 
no. Boom. Perfect. 11 plays, 57 yards, 5'11 off the clock. We got a field goal. I'll take that. Oregon is ready to kick it away. Boom. He really got a hold of that kick. Oliver fields it in the end zone. Tries to do. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? All right, we are dominating time of possession now. Virginia Tech lines up with a shotgun set. Jeez, that Atkins guy can run. We've got a first and ten. Montgomery is the deep back as they line up in the eye. First down, look at the throw. Atkins. Jeez. Throws. He's taken down at the 47 yard line. Not a bad pickup that time. Yeah, well, let me tell you the reason why this play worked. The defense oh, came with pressure. Come on, boys. Get to the quarterback, and he made them pay right there. Virginia Tech comes out of the shotgun. Atkins back to throw. He keeps it. Boom. And he hits nice hit by Minucci. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 48. The Hokies line up with a single set back to you. Atkins steps back to pass. He lets it go. It's really? Wow, you guys are cheaters. Holy smokes. Wow, how about that ball to the tight end? Well, that ends my 27 unanswered point streak. They line up for the extra point. And he converts the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Virginia Tech gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off. Bell fields it at the seven, shakes off a tackle. Oh, nice. Good job, Bell. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. Here are the offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. Going with the shotgun here. With a takedown at the 38. Brown gets three yards on the play. All right. Second, Second down. down. I'm thinking about putting uh, Stiegel and Bell in there. Just to Brown, get more speed on the field. And this is all we needed. First down, Sam Brown. Oh, and Anderson got hurt tackling Sam Brown. It's like, oh, he's just so amazing. Oh, I hurt my knee trying to tackle him. They line up at the 46. First down. Hmm. Oregon lines up with three receivers. All right. Ooh, this might be it. All right, here we go. Brown, back to pass. He's looking. Deep pass. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, you overthrew a wide open touchdown. Wide open man. Yep. 
They really blew a great opportunity there. Second and the 46 yard line. It's second down. Ooh. Oregon comes out of the shotgun. The option left. Laterals back. Good job, McDuffie. Nice run. They keep it on the ground, and the handbag gets about seven yards. All right, let the quarter run now. Ooh. They lost a guy for nine weeks. Ooh. Ooh. But we are at the end of the third quarter. I'm ahead 44-24. As long as I don't have turnovers and I get scores on every drive, I've won this game. All right, here we go. It's third and three. Oh boy. Brown is back in the gun. Really? You got to be kidding me. Nothing gained on the play. Wow. Yeah, I don't have a leg for this, guys. I don't know what you expect. And Sam Brown's going to get the first down on the ground. And he has a huge gain. And I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. Sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Here's a look at the offensive hmm. production statistics. Ooh, I don't Michael. like this look at all. Brown lines up in the shotgun. Yeah, all right, go block for McDuffie, boys. Come on, block for McDuffie. He needs it. Oh man! Oh, I thought I could get past that guy. He's playing run and had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. From the 26-yard line. On the 26-yard line. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. On the goose. On the goose. Brown drops back to pass. Oh, oh my gosh. Just straight up drop. So that'll make it third down. Third and ten. It's third down and ten. And this is a ninth play of the current drive. Oh my god. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Brown drops to throw. Looking, he decides to And Sam Brown gets the first down. There you go. A big gain on that quarterback scramble. Boy, defensive breakdown here. Good defense. They had everybody covered, but they left the quarterback with a lot of running room. The key word is but. Good defense, but. You got to keep your eye on that kid. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. McDuffie. The lone back. Boyd with a takedown. Number the seven yard line. Four, four yard gain by the back. Four on the play. They line up at the seven. Second down and six. Brown. Hmm. All right, we might be scrambling this one if Brown. Oh, thank God I didn't accidentally hike the ball and I dropped my controller on the ground. That would have been disastrous. Look at the throw. Look. He's gonna take off. Sam Brown breaks a tackle on his way to the end zone. Yeah. This quarterback has had so much fun in the end zone the first time, he decided to make another appearance. Watch this. <laughs> Boom. So the kicking team will line up for the point after. All right. Boom. 51-24 me. And now we'll take a 
take a look at the Pontiac. 11 plays, 65 yards, 344 off the clock. Oregon to kick this one off. Boom. There you go. But at least they're still working hard. I'd like a team that never quits. They'll start this drive. At They'll the take over at the 19-yard line. First and 10. Virginia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. Engines on first down. He takes off. He spins. Boom. What a hit by whoever that is. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that. <sighs> Come on, D. The offensive production numbers brought to you by Coke. Virginia Tech lines up with three receivers. Intercepted by Rogers. There we go. Wow, defense. That was a heck of a play by the big guy. Sure was, Kirk. It's not too often those big linemen get their hands on a football. Boy, is he excited. They'll take over. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the 50. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. Brown, option, left side. And now he decides. McDuffie gets 100 yards on the day. Yeehaw. the chains once again. That's what they need. Move the chains and keep the other team from getting their hands on the football. It's first and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Throws and they've got the screen set up. There you go, Smith. Big yards. First down and a lot more. That reception put him over 100 yards on the day. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. And that's why he's so valuable to this football team, Kirk. He's a big-time college football player. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it was. Ooh, oh yeah, we're doing good. Doing good. Defense getting good turnovers. Yeah, we're doing good though. Brown steps back to pass. Got it to the senior. Jeez, Jacobs just can't get enough steam going against these guys. Yards that time on the screen. It's second and goal. Ball on the six yard line. Oh no. To the line with three wide. Do not like that at all. I'm just going to get what yards I can. Brown set to go to the air. Looking. Ah! <laughs> Sam Brown breaks another tackle on his way to the end zone. Rushing score for the Yeah. If I was a coach I give this kid the ball every time. Boom. Yeah. They line up for the point after. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So we take a do, moment to do, check do, out do, the do, We do, 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 do. Oregon yet set to kick this one away. Oliver and Nash set to return. Boom. Nash fields it in the end zone. He jukes. You know who's trembling right now? Well, it's not the defense. They played well all game. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coke. Adkins, the three wide receivers. The running back has it. There we go. Tackles him at the 21. Montgomery comes away with two yards on the carry. Second From their own 21-yard line. Second down. Virginia Tech comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Montgomery gets another carry. Fumble! Defense recovers! Yeah! Defense! Now that fumble was not what they needed. They're already losing big. Let's just hope they don't go to Tallinn all together. 
They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. The Ducks come out showing three wide. He's looking to pass. Swings Jeez. It That's a loss of about three. Oh. Second so it's second 13. and 13. Ball on the 24-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Brown comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Wants to throw a screen. Jeez. With the tackle at the 21 yard line. He caught it, but the reward was minimal. I don't know, Brett. I don't know what the quarterback saw, but hey, at least it wasn't a sack or an interception. Third, and ten. Third down. Ball on the 21 yard line. <sighs> Going with the shotgun here. All right. Cut. Brown, back to pass. He looks. No one opens, so he's going to run. And he gets his four rushing touchdown. He's done for the day. It's how easy he makes a look out there. Oh, my goodness. This kid is sensational. What a play. That was a Heisman highlight right there. And they line up for the point after. Boom. And he adds the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. All right, let's take a look. Well, we're definitely taking out Sam Brown. Put in the column and Lucas. And Carter. And then we might take out McDuffie and Brown. Let's see. Yeah, well, Brown did get 100 yards rushing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I can buy that. So let's take out my two running backs. Let's put in Stagall and Bell and Campbell. And then we'll put in Brian Brown back down there, but that's okay. Awesome stuff right there. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. We Nash fields it in the end zone. Jeez. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Hopefully we'll see the offense move this ball up the field a little bit. Yeah, coach, they really haven't had too much success today. But this is an opportunity for them to get their team back on track and build some confidence come on, D. into the next game. They come out with three wide receivers. Looks to pass. Tony Haley, another sack. I think that's his third of the game. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Yeah. What a beast. Tony Haley, the disruptor. Second down and a long ways to go. He just gets in there and blows up your play, blows up your possession. The Hokey. Go with the eye formation. Atkins drops back to pass. He takes off. There we go. At the 24 yard line. Third and seven coming up here. Come on, defense. Atkins drops to pass. Oh. <laughs> That time. Yep, they the Here we line. go. There's all he can do. Looks like they're going to is back deep to return the punt. Booming kick. Calls for the fair catch. Hardly well, tough sledding for, for this run. offense that last made. drive as they the turned in for six. Well, look no further than the guys up front. They all right. Some huge holes to take over at the 30 yard line. Let's see if we can get a run game going with our backups. The Ducks come out of the ace formation, hands it to the back. Good job, Stiegel. Down in the open field. Got six yards on the play. Gain of six on the play. 
Bucks from their own 36 yard line. It's second and four. Single set backfield. Excuse me. All right. Here we go. Ooh. Steagle gets about a yard on the play. We get third and three here. Ball on their own 37 yard line. He may have changed things up here. All right. We might take a deep shot here to Jacobs. Especially if I roll left first. Or right first. And they'll try to get the first through the air. No, 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 no. Yeah, Jacobs got it. Yeah. For a second there, I thought the defense was going to get it. But he threw it just over that head. Then it's hard to win a ball game. All right. First it's ten. first and ten. Ball, ball on the 25. yard line. All right. Uh, ba 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 ba. Man. There we go. At the 21, that's four yards on the play. It's second and six. Ball on the 21 yard line. The Ducks set up in the gun. All right. Bell is so fast. I think this offensive line is getting better and better as the game goes along. And coach, I'll tell you what, I think they're killing the will of this defense. And I don't think they're done just yet. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most, the Ducks line up with four wideouts. Bum 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 Oh jeez. Well at least he held on to the ball. That was well defended by this defense. Hey that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front? We're gonna center the ball on this one. Well, they created the play. Sam Brown to Nolan Shock was player of the game. Their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. All right. Steagle gets another carry. Barnes brings him down at the three yard line. Look like offsides. Here's the official call. Ooh, I'll take that. All right, same play. They line up at the three. Second down. They put everyone up on the line. Oh, he gets the touchdown this time. <laughs> there you go. And running up the score. Sometimes you play in a game and you can't do anything wrong. You find yourself in a rhythm for a zone. This whole team seems like they've been in a rhythm since we kicked this game off. They'll line it up for the extra point. Boom. He converts the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Oregon 72. Seven plays, 70 yards, 311 off the clock. Even my backups Oregon are ball controlling it. Newsom and Bishop back to return. Boom. Bishop fields it in the end zone. Nice. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. The offense looked a bit out of sync on that last possession, Coach. And it was the defense that threw them out of sync, Kirk. 
Those guys are fired up. Let's see if they can hold them again. With the way the scoreboard looks, I suppose they thought, why not try a new quarterback? Oh, Hicks. Bo Hicks. Boom. Oh. Gets in the backfield for a loss. Nice tackle by Lee Brown. If you don't have offensive balance, you can't keep the defense off of you. Come on, D. Virginia Tech comes to the line with three wide. Wants to throw outside. Oh, thank God. <laughs> was the intended target, so that'll make it third down. Third and 14 coming up here. All on the 18 yard line. The Hokie go with the eye formation. Look at the throw. He passes it. Oh, nice. And that's a big stop for this defense. Nice. So fast, Brad. This offense is losing. They may try to go for it here. Yeah, right, Corso. Virginia Tech lining up the front. Smith back deep to return. Punts the ball away. Smith fields it at the 39. At the 40. Oh, nice. Guys, their last possession, they really had good success passing the ball. Hey, ask me. Hmm. Lee, I agree. Make them show you that they can stop it before you change things up. They'll take over. They'll get the ball here at the 30-yard line. First and 10. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. Back to pass. He's rolling left. Surveys the field. No, 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 no. Oh. Darn it. <laughs> Final score, I win 72-24. Yay. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, you tell him. And I look like a team who's going to win it all again. Of course, the gravy man could have something to say about that if he makes it to the natty, but what can you do? Oh my, 72-24 final. Hard to believe this was tied at 17 early in the second quarter. I ended up outgaining Virginia Tech 618 to 374 in yards, outran them 371 to 70. They outpassed me 304 to 247, but I was more efficient passing the ball. I went 9 of 13 on third downs, converted my one fourth, held them to 2 of 7 on third downs. They had four turnovers, I had none. That was a huge difference in the game. And I cashed in, I think, on all of their turnovers. And then I won time of possession by over 17 minutes. That also will help you go a long way. Sam Brown ended up going 16 of 20, 209, three scores, no picks, and had 22 carries for 209 and four touchdowns on the ground. McCollum went one of two for 38 yards of zero scores, zero picks. McDuffie had 18 carries for 105 yards. Brian Brown had six carries for 27 yards and two catches for 98 yards and two scores. And Robert Bell had two carries for 16 yards, and Stiegel had four carries for 14 yards. And Brandon Smith had eight catches for 99 yards and a score, and Andrew Jacobs had seven for 50. Tony Haley had 12 tackles, six for loss, including three sacks and a forced fumble. And then Rodgers had four tackles and an interception. And Marcellus had four tackles and an interception. Minucci had four tackles and a sack. And that basically does it. Although their quarterback, Adkins, went 12 of 19 for 304 with two scores and two picks. And had 10 carries for 38 yards. And Oliver had five for 141. And Gibson had four for 82 and a score. And Dennis had a 48-yard touchdown reception. But that'll do it. I start off the sixth season, the 2011 season, on the right foot by beating number two Virginia Tech 72-24.
Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button, check out my other videos, leave your likes and comments down below. Be sure to subscribe to me on both Rumble and Quarter as well. And if that, I bid you guys adieu, farewell, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.